Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog track and field. And with us, sophomore Samantha Humphrey. And uh, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I know uh, the Bulldogs just getting the outdoor season underway, but uh, a big indoor season uh, for the Bulldogs. Just talk uh, first about the indoor season, uh, some of your accomplishments, and, and what were some of the highlights for, for you as a team? Yeah, um, we had a really good indoor season, a lot of um, personal records, um, a lot of strong performances. Uh, we had Samantha Johnson make it to nationals, and then um, people made it on the provisional list, and then we had our uh, DMR relay um, really close to making it to nationals, and I was a part of that, and it was, it was a really cool experience, so yeah. You mentioned the, the distance medley relay, a provisional national qualifier, one of the top four teams in the, in the GLIAC. Uh, what does it take to, to run on a relay like that? Um, yeah, it takes a lot of hard work and training. Um, it was really cool to run with um, three seniors, and just to be a part of that team was really a good, cool experience. I know uh, you're also involved uh, with Bulldog Cross Country and uh, going from the, to the fall to the indoor season to the outdoor season. How do you transition uh, between, between all of those seasons? Yeah, it's definitely a transition. Um, we get uh, like 10 days off between each season or between cross and indoor, um, and that's a nice break. But once we um, finish cross country, we're kind of like our mindset's just kind of like changed. Uh, um, it's time for indoor, and then obviously from indoor to outdoor, it's like you're just ready for a new season and um, hoping for more PRs. Uh, we mentioned you're a sophomore uh, from Alma, Michigan, and uh, mm -hmm. this past weekend opened the outdoor season uh, back in your hometown. What was that experience like for you? Uh, it was really cool. Um, I never expected to be back there racing, and it was a cool experience. And um, to be able to um, be there for Easter weekend was really cool. So. The Charlie Gray Invitational and uh, some, some strong competition in that event. Uh, the Bulldogs uh, fourth place overall. Uh, talk about the competition and some of the teams you face. Yeah, um, we had CMU was there and Hope and... Um, some, like Alma obviously. Um, it was a good experience, the first outdoor uh, race, um, just kind of getting um, back into racing outdoors and um, used to the weather and everything, so it was good. I know you finished third in the 1500 meters, fifth in the 800 meters. Uh, talk about your, your performances in those two races. Yeah, um, it was definitely helpful to have, um, be able to um, follow the leaders of Ferris um, with Bree in the 15 and Ashley in the eight, um, just to see them and to go after it, so. What were some of the, the highlights uh, as a team? I know uh, you had some strong success in the distance events, as we mentioned, uh, some, some throwers that uh, were able to pick up some big performances as well. Yeah, we had um, Bree took first in the 15. Um, Ashley, I think, took third in the eight, and I took fifth in the eight. And then I know we had some first in the throws, um, just some really strong performances. 32 uh, top eight finishes combined between the men's and women's teams, and uh, certainly uh, something positive uh, to build on as you, as you get ready uh, to really to get into the heart of the outdoor season. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was encouraging, and um, we're ready to go to Hillsdale on Saturday. So. You mentioned uh, Hillsdale, uh, a place uh, that you'll go this weekend uh, for another another meet, but uh, a place that you'll go a few other times. Uh, the Gina Relay is coming up at the end of the month, and then obviously they host the GLIAC championships as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool to be able to go there a couple times just to get used to it. Uh, the Bulldogs, uh, as you get ready uh, here to get into the to the meat of the outdoor uh, schedule, what are what are some of the goals uh, for you personally and and as a team? Um, personally, um, I really want to get my 1500 down um, below 447 as my PR. Um, so I'm hoping um, for a faster time in that. And then as a team, just to um, do well and um, work together um, definitely and um, get more PRs. I know obviously uh, the focus and, and the build-up is towards the GLIAC championships, hoping to, to get some qualifiers for the national meet as well. What, is it, what does it take to place high at the GLIAC championships and, and, and hopefully uh, move on to the national meet? Yeah, it takes a lot of training, um, hard work, um, definitely staying positive, especially if like you have a bad race, but um, to really uh, work hard, um, especially when you're feeling tired. Um, each workout is uh, really important, and um, even recovery runs are um, important to get in and to um, do like the little stuff, like the weightlifting and the drills, and um, making sure that you're st you're stretching and you're um, icing. And, um, every little detail helps, and working together as a team, especially um, when you just don't feel strong enough. Being a distance runner, and I know coming to a, a program that's got a, a long history of uh, successful distance runners, what, what does that mean to be a part of the, the Bulldog program? Yeah, it's definitely, it's really awesome. Um, I never thought I'd be here racing with Ferris, but it's been really cool. And to be able to see um, the leaders ahead of me, um, seeing them work hard definitely is an inspiration for me. Um, all the seniors, um, like last year and this year, um, just to, um, what it means to work hard and to um, go after your goals and really train um, and stay strong. 
I know uh, looking back uh, to when you were a high school uh, runner, what uh, what changes uh, going from the high school ranks to the college ranks? Um, definitely for me, uh, training and running every day. Um, in high school, I didn't run in the winter, summer, barely at all. And now running year round is definitely uh, a change and getting used to, but it's definitely worth it. Um, I've improved a lot. And it's definitely because of working hard and training hard and making sure you get in every run and um, not slacking. It's definitely different, but it's great. I know uh, going from the indoor season to the outdoor season, uh, kind of in that transition period where the weather outside, uh, you, you never know what it's going to be like. How, how does that impact your training? Uh, it's definitely hard at times, especially last winter when it was um, just terrible weather. Um, you have to stay positive. You can't um, dwell on the fact that you it's icy out every day, but you have to try to stay positive, um, do what you can. Sometimes you can't get out and run, but you have to do it on a treadmill. Um, but try and stay positive and just uh, realize that winter can't last forever. So. I know uh, track and field is kind of, a, kind of an individual sport at times, but still a, still a team sport. How, what, what are some of the things the Bulldogs do to try to really build that team com camaraderie and the team atmosphere? Right. Um, uh, we try to do every run together. Um, I know in track we do um, distance and mid-distance work out on different days, but we try to at least do warm-ups together. Um, we uh, do other like weightlifting together, and um, we just try to work together, especially in, even in races. Um, one, if one teammate goes, hopefully the other one goes with them and really encourage each other. Coach Jared Kelsch came on uh, this year. Uh, well, what's it been like to, to run for him and, and work under his guidance? Oh, it's been awesome. He's really encouraging and positive, and um, he really tries to um, show us what it means to be a team and to work together, um, especially in workouts and races. And um, it's just been really encouraging, and he really works hard to help us to get where we want to be. And um, it's been a really good experience. I know as I talked with him last week, uh, the GLIAC, uh, strong competition, uh, one of the toughest conferences in the nation. What's it, what's it like to face uh, that competition on a, on a weekly basis? Yeah, um, it, definitely, it definitely pushes you, and um, you're put at a high expectation, and you have to reach that, and it really helps to, um, to uh, go up against those competitions and um, to race against them. I know, obviously, uh, being at Ferris State, uh, not only an athlete, but a student athlete, uh, talk about your major, uh, what, what your academic program is, and, and, and how, you, how you balance that time. Yeah, um, I'm in social work, um, and it's definitely, you have to do time management and uh, make sure you're getting in all your classes and all the homework uh, while also um, training and making sure you're sleeping and eating. Um, it's definitely an adjustment, but it works, and it's been really cool. Um, I really love running and going to school at the same time. Well, thanks for being with us, and uh, best of luck to the Bulldogs as you head to Hillsdale this week and, and throughout the rest of the outdoor season. Thank you. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.